Chairman, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 38, printed in House Report number 114-325, offered by Mr. Ferenthold of Texas. Pursuant to House Resolution 507, the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Ferenthold, and a member opposed each control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Texas. Mr. Chairman, I yield myself 90 seconds. Um, this bipartisan amendment would allow trucks with current weight exemptions to be allowed to continue to operate at those higher weight exceptions after certain segments of highways in Texas are reclassified and redesignated as Interstate 69. This language will not increase truck wage, nor will it allow for weight exemptions for new trucks. This is a narrow amendment that does not include new trucks. It only allows those that are currently operating to continue to operate. In the last omnibus, the state of Kentucky was able to include this exact language for their state, uh, whose industries were facing this exact problem. This amendment models, Kentucky, uh, models Kentucky's language, except that it includes Texas highways. And at that, I'll reserve. The gentleman reserves. I claim For what purpose does the gentleman from Pennsylvania seek recognition? I claim the time in opposition, although I do not oppose the bill. I support the, uh, the amendment and uh, yield back my time. Without objection, the gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Texas. Yes, I'd like to yield uh, two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Dr. Babin. And the other gentleman from Texas is recognized. Yes, sir. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Every one of us on the TNI committee hears a lot about trucks, bigger trucks and heavier trucks. And I think by now it's safe to say that all 435 of us have heard a lot about trucks. It's a tough issue with strong feelings on both sides. But this amendment isn't talking about bigger trucks or heavier trucks, as my colleague Mr. Farenthold said. All we're talking about here is allowing the state of Texas, through a rigorous licensing and approval process, to same weight limit uh, that are in uh, the weight limits that are in place right now for certain trucks on certain stretches of our road. Not bigger, not heavier, but the same. Unless we get this amendment adopted, the new blue signs for Interstate 69 in East Texas won't just mean a new interstate. It could mean financial ruin for our loggers who are already already have a very thin profit margin and a, at a very tough time for our timber industry. It will mean a dramatic decrease in the amount of weight that all the loggers uh, can haul on their trucks, which they have been doing safely and effectively on these roads for generations, even back when these same Texas counties were represented by our colorful Texas Democrat Congressman, Timber Charlie Wilson. I'm asking all of my colleagues, no matter where you stand on bigger trucks, to join me, Congressman Farenthold and Congressman Gene Green, uh, in supporting this bipartisan amendment to allow the state of Texas to be treated in the exact same way that this same body treated the states of Kentucky and Mississippi just last year and help save these jobs. With that, I yield back the balance of my time. The gentleman yields back, and the gentleman from Texas is recognized. Thank you very much. I'd like to add it's not just the uh, forestry industry as well, uh, various uh, farm and ranch cotton industries, and certain areas, uh, especially in South Texas, is uh, uh, U.S. Highway 77 and 281 are becoming uh, Interstate 69, is making it very difficult for the very concrete trucks necessary to uh, make improvements to those roads to travel on that road. So I urge my colleagues to support this amendment. Thank Chairman Schuster for his work on this bill and, uh, and uh, his, uh, his not opposing this amendment. And with that, I'll yield back.